Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's a beautiful sunny Sunday late morning uh, in London and I had planned to show you a Dior unboxing because I had a few goodies delivered earlier this week and then I had something due for delivery today, all from the same kind of collection. But as luck would have it, um, despite me being in all morning, uh, I've just had an email saying that the delivery man missed me for the deal parcel, which is odd because the same delivery man did manage to deliver something else. So I guess they only just dumped it on the front doorstep, didn't ring the bell. So I suspect they just forgot and I haven't got my Dior eyeshadow palette. So I think I'm going to push off filming the rest of that uh, mini unboxing. Well, quite a big unboxing actually now um, until hopefully I get my palette tomorrow or later in the week. So it's a slightly less exciting unboxing, which is the um, Liberty Beauty box, which also came this week for me. And I did have a sneaky peek, um, but haven't really kind of looked at the, um, the details of the various things that you get. You get these six products every two months, as we've now discovered, when you subscribe to the Liberty Beauty Drop, which is £20 a month, um, but it's completely redeemable. In other words, it's not for this box at all, um, of which you... Do you get it every two months or once a quarter? I've forgotten again. We've been through all this. I'm terrible. Anyway, it, it's a, a bonus because basically the £20 that you're paying, um, you can redeem against any... Uh, beauty products which actually seem to include things like candles and home fragrance as well um so I don't think they're too fussy on what you spend on so um I just kind of plan to get my niche beauty products and some presents from Liberty and uh it's like a kind of savings club so I've got quite a lot in the bank at the moment actually but uh I haven't decided what I want to buy so you get some quite good things in the little box. I'm not sure this month is one of the best, but there's definitely some things worth having. One of which is the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. You know that I travel a fair bit for work and some of a pleasure. So it's always good to have travel size products. I know if you're super organised, you can decant your favourites into plastic bottles, which I have done and I do do occasionally, but honestly, it's just much easier to throw in some of these kind of travel sample size ones. I like Dermalogica. Uh, I used to do a whole skincare routine with them um, quite a bit ago now. And um, yeah, they're, they're really reputable. I've never had a problem with any of their products. Some of them I like more than others. The cleansing gel probably wouldn't be my favourite cleansing product because I think it's slightly more suited to oilier um, skins than mine, but it's absolutely fine. I definitely will be able to use it. Then the other decent size product this month is this one. I don't know a great deal about Charlotte Menzar, Um but it's um hair styling product, a pomade. So um basically something for texturizing your hair. Um they do say on the um the kind of card that comes with it that it can be used as a leave-in conditioner or as a styling product. I really don't like styling products. I've got um long well, medium length, shoulder length hair um, that, you know, having a kind of classic bob and I tie it away when I'm working or whatever. I just don't do kind of styling products, really. So um, that's probably not going to stay. 
Uh, I love their fragrance samples because I'm always up for trying new fragrances. I do need to get on with showing you my Byredo Christmas present to myself. Maybe I'll do that today as well. Why not? Um, so this is a Liberty um, fragrance. So it looks as if they're now going in for their own fragrances. Um, this is called Wild Rosinda Eau de Parfum from the Liberty Fragrance Collection. And they say it's reimagining the archival decadent blooms print. So it's based on one of their famous prints. Um, they name the perfumier, the noses. Um, it's got rose at its heart with delectable wild currant, green ivy and smouldering woods for a mischievous thorny presence, a carnal and mysterious take on the timeless floral. So let's have a sniff. I haven't had a sniff of this one yet. I'm not a fan of rose. Mm. Not the best spray, to be honest. It's kind of dribbled out of that, which is not too good. Um, Initial take, definitely floral, not noticeably rosy to begin with, actually, which is good for me because I'm not a huge rose fan. I can tolerate it um, in some formulations. It's going quite powdery on me quite quickly. Um, Let's leave that to develop for a bit, see what we make of it. Then we've got um, a hand cream, LA Bruquette. I think we've had this before. I've had it in another box again. I'm, my hands are in a terrible state, actually. They've, they're a bit kind of, I don't know, I seem to be retaining water a bit, which is not good. Um, yeah, so I need to use my hand creams more regularly. Um, votary, I am actually, when I use it, doing a kind of votary um, skin routine at the moment because I've got a lot of votary products and they don't keep as well as some products. So I've got a whole load of Sunday Riley on the go, kind of alternating with a whole load of votary, but I also have Augustinus Bada. I'm terrible. I just... I get excited when there's a new skincare regime and don't use up the old ones. And I'm definitely going to do that this year. So um, Votary is an organic, natural um, skincare system. It's quite pricey. I was had the uh, initial day seed cream a couple of years ago now in an advent calendar. It's a very thick, very nourishing feeling cream, ideal in the winter not so great the rest of the year. And I have a bit of a love-hate uh, relationship with the products. Some of them I love, some of them I'm less keen on. Some of them to me have quite an offensive smell. <laughs> um, they're not synthetic smells. So um, yeah, let me know below if any of you are interested in seeing my votary collection um, and comments. I don't know how kind of mainstream uh, um, a brand it is really. Anyway, this one is the Natural Glow Day Cream, which I don't have. It's only a sachet, so I don't know how much um, that will tell me about the product. Um, and then finally, MZ Skin. Uh, the, they do very high quality, expensive masks. This is the Hydra Bright Gold Eye Mask, brightening and hydrating hydrogel eye mask. I could definitely do with an eye mask at the moment. So that's welcome. So I love, love, love the Liberty box. Um, it's so pretty, isn't it? Their packaging. Um, I do think that's a nice touch. So there we go. I know, I think there are a couple of you who get the Liberty um, Beauty Drop. So you will have had yours in the last week or so. The perfume is very powdery. Not particularly strong, I have to say, um, given I've applied it in the last five minutes. 
Um, there's very little silage. I'm not not being knocked away by that one so far. Um, yeah, so hope you're all having a fantastic day uh, and a good weekend. And hopefully I will see you soon with uh, my Dior purchases. So until then, bye for now.